Hello, so in this video we are going to talk about, uh, actually this is a part of uh, uh, three videos which will be about fundamentals of flight mechanics, so that is uh, our video right here and then we will apply that to uh, unpowered uh, flight or glide, okay, we will apply and then afterwards we will discuss in the third video we will discuss yung glide path angle, airspeed and rate of descent for uh, unpowered glide, particularly unpowered glide first. Okay, so let's uh, start this video and uh, we have here our uh, a diagram of uh, an aircraft no? or an airplane and we want to start we want to start with uh, a line along the fuse, fuselage reference. Okay, so along the fuse, uh, fuselage reference or along the cord line. So let it be uh, parallel to our cord line of the airfoil or the wing and uh, let's draw it there. Okay, so that would be, let's say, that we would name this as our XB. Okay, B, the subscript B refers, is uh, referred to as the uh, body access system. Body access system. So yung X sub B is part of that. So we have X sub B, Y sub B, and Z sub B. Okay? And then the next line that uh, we are of interest in is the uh, line beneath that. No? The line beneath that. And we'll call this line as our X sub S. X sub S is a part of the axis system, which is called the stability axis system okay so it's a system no so magkaiba yan sila but uh, magkaiba sila ng uh, mga ng uh, magkaiba sila ng plane okay so i should say magkaiba sila ng plane so the angle between our x sub s and our x sub b is uh, called the angle of attack okay so that is alpha yeah lagi that's 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 the uh, that's the general general uh, letter greek letter that we use for the angle of attack angle of attack okay and then after that the third line that uh, we are interested in is a simple horizontal line. This simple horizontal line is called horizon. Okay? This is the horizon. And uh, between X sub S and the horizon, between X sub S and the horizon is an angle again, which is gamma. Now, what is that gamma? Gamma is our flight path angle. Flight path angle. Okay. And then, another angle is between X sub B and the horizon. X sub B and the horizon. And we will call it theta. Now, what is theta? Theta is our airplane pitch attitude angle so this is our airplane pitch attitude angle now it's important to take note that along our x sub s is the uh, velocity of the aircraft or the true airspeed okay so let's say that this is v okay that vector is our true airspeed v and it is along the x-axis v that is our true airspeed now if uh, i will isolate no let's say i will isolate the vector the velocity vector. 
Okay, ito siya. Okay. And we know that between the between the ano, between the horizontal line or the horizon and the velocity because this is Okay. This is your x sub s. Again, this is x sub s. And if that, this is your velocity and this is gamma, we could form, since this is a vector, no? This is a vector. Then, therefore, meron niyang, ano, meron niyang uh, horizontal and vertical component. So, let's draw the vertical component para so that we could we could form a right triangle. Okay. So, therefore, by simple trigonometry, this is your vertical, uh, the vertical component of your velocity. This is the horizontal component of your velocity. And if I will do sine gamma, then sine gamma is equal to v sub v over v. Therefore, v sub v is equal to v sine gamma. Now, that is uh, an important the component of your V because essentially, because our aircraft is pointing upward, then that would be the rate of climb. Okay? Rate of climb later on. And your V sub H of course, that would be V cosine gamma. Okay? Or the uh, horizontal velocity component. So we are done with the no, we are done with defining we are done with the defining the velocity and the angles here for uh, our aerodynamic nomenclature. Now we will uh, no, we will uh, go to the forces. No, the forces uh, acting on an aircraft. We are very familiar with that, and that is the lift. San may kita yung lift, yung drag, yung weight, and also yung ano yung uh, the thrust. Okay, lift, drag, weight, and thrust. So again, let's start with ano. Actually, yung lift, yung ano mga lift, lift and drag would be found along the uh, x xs, okay, or the stability axis system. So let's say this is our. Let's say I would first draw. Let's say mga 10 degrees. Remember that. It would be very important later on. So let's say this is our x sub s, and sabi ko nga na sa stability axis system yung mga yung mga forces like lift and the uh, drag, okay? So if I will construct a uh, perpendicular line, so again this is 10 degrees now. That is 10 degrees. So therefore. I'll just make this angle 80 degrees to construct a uh, perpendicular line. And this would be my Z sub S. No? You cannot see Y sub S because Y is, uh, take note, that Y is perpendicular to the X Z plane. And that is also true for the B for the body axis system. So, hindi, hindi rin siya makikita doon. But, sabi ko kanina, continue ko lang, no? The vertical component here, dito makikita yung tiyatawag natin na lift and also your drag. So, those are two forces that uh, una natin i-discuss. And, of course, if we will construct a rectangle, Okay, I will construct a rectangle by parallelogram method. I could get the resultant between lift and drag. And we know that that is R, right? We are very familiar with that. If you are done with your theory of flight, then may resultant yung lift and drag. Resultant, uh, so called the resultant aerodynamic force, diba?
Let's just connect that. Be patient with me here. Okay, so yan na yung R. So let's just, uh, I'm just constructing it correctly. Okay? So we can also, we can also see now that if we have our R, then that is the hypotenuse. And then R squared is equal to L squared plus D squared. And R, R would be equal to the square root of L squared plus D squared, of course, mathematically. Now, next, asan yung weight? So, weight, if I will uh, construct a vertical line with uh, the intersection as my reference. I will construct a vertical line there then this would be the line wherein my weight my my weight will be found okay the weight of the aircraft would be along that line okay weight w so that's the common common uh, variable that's uh, used for that particular parameter okay so asan yung thrust so thrust so, may, may, meron tayong uh, two cases. I would like to present uh, two cases. So, the first case is yung thrust is uh, along your x sub b or the x-axis dun sa body, body axis system. Okay? Now, that is the case wherein the thrust inclination is equal to zero. So, let me draw the... Let me draw first the... Ano, the body system x sub b in particular so again if let it intersect here okay so this is x sub b if your if the angle okay the uh, thrust inclination angle if uh, phi, the symbol there is phi, or the thrust inclination angle is zero, then your thrust is along x sub b. Okay, but if it's not equal to zero, okay, if it's not equal to zero, then kakaroon tayo ngayon ng inclination dito. But not just any inclination, because we have to obey certain rules for uh, where to find the, the proper vector for the thrust. No? And we have to consider this particular expression the thrust vector plus the resultant vector okay so it means to say that your resultant okay the resultant for lift and drag would form a rectangle with your thrust okay so if this is my resultant vector then i should draw i should draw a line which is perpendicular to that so i'll just estimate a perpendicular line okay so let's say that this is my perpendicular line and that is where my thrust vector would lie okay somewhere along this line and if i want to uh, and if i want to determine no nasan talaga yung thrust or ano talaga yung magnitude ng thrust then therefore after drawing that line that pala hindi ko na Hindi ko na tinanggal yung ruler. I'll, I'll just go here. No, I should construct a parallel line going to my uh, from the end point of my resultant vector, and then going to this vertical line, yung red line. And again, just sabi ko nga, let's draw a rectangle to satisfy this thrust plus r. Okay, yan yung importante ng satisfy. So Yun. And if I will connect that, yan. And then therefore, I now have the proper vector for my t. Okay? This is now your thrust vector if your uh, phi is not equal to zero. Phi sub t. Okay? Indicating that uh, it is for thrust. Thrust inclination angle. So let me write that down for you to take note. V is your, V sub T is your thrust 
inclination angle. Okay? So, meron na tayong thrust, meron tayong drag, we have your lift, and we have your weight. Now, another thing I would like to add here is uh, if we are to get the summation of forces later on along the x-axis, no, and gagawin naman talaga natin yun, is merong component dito no, along the x-axis which is the component of our weight. Okay? That is the component of our weight and that is equal to W sine gamma. Now, why W sine gamma? We have to, again, no, gamma is the line between x sub s or the angle between x sub s and the horizon. So, if, we, if you know basic uh, geometry, so if this is my horizon, okay, and this line is gamma, if that is gamma, then therefore, no, if I will extend this, Okay, and then, dyan na pala. If that is gamma, then, ito na pala siya. This is also gamma. And if that is gamma, no, I can again construct a triangle, but that would be very small. no, Or, uh, I would not just go into that. So, magkakaroon lang dito ng rectangle, and then a triangle by parallelogram method. And this component, particular component, would be equal to W sine gamma. Okay? So, that's it for the, ito naman, this is discussion for the uh, uh, definition of forces. So, kanina, this is the, the definition for the angle and the velocity. Ito naman, this is the definition for the forces acting on our aircraft during a steady symmetrical flight. Okay? So, see you on the next video regarding uh, unpowered flight or uh, glide. We will simply apply yung mga definition na ginamit natin dito but this time with our aircraft pointing downward. So, thank you for watching.